Are you planning to design an electrical system for dwelling and non-dwelling units? You must first understand the basics of electrical code. These are branch circuits. Branch circuits are the most commonly installed of all circuits. Having knowledge of Article 2.10 of the electrical code is essential. In this video, we will learn about the following. 1. Branch circuits. 2. Different categories of branch circuits. 3. How to determine the branch circuit rating. 4. Branch circuits wiring fundamentals. Good day, fellow practitioners, engineers, electrician, and future engineers. You are now watching the Codesultant channel. In code definition, branch circuit is the circuit conductor between the final overcurrent device protecting the circuit and the outlets. As shown in the figure, the branch circuit is that part of a wiring system extending beyond the last of the final protective device to the load it serves. The branch circuit represent the last step in transferring power from the service or energy source to utilization device. Therefore, branch circuit consists of the following. 1. Overcurrent protective device, which can be a fuse or circuit breaker. 2. Conductors. And 3. Loads, can be lighting, receptacles, or any non-motor load, or can be a motor. The branch circuit is categorized into the following. 1. Branch circuit, appliance. A branch circuit that supplies energy to one or more outlets to which appliances are to be connected and that has no permanently connected luminaires that are not a part of an appliance. Therefore, a branch circuit appliance is a two-conductor circuit that supplies energy to one or more small appliance outlets, and there are no permanently connected luminaires unless these luminaires are part of the appliances. Branch circuit appliance is an important term when designing an electrical system for dwelling units. Branch circuit, general purpose. A branch circuit that supplies two or more receptacles or outlets for lighting and appliances. Therefore, a branch circuit's general purpose is a two-conductor circuit that supplies two or more receptacles or outlets for lighting and small appliances. Branch circuit general purpose is a combination of receptacle outlets and lighting. 3. Branch circuit, individual. A branch circuit that supplies only one utilization equipment. Therefore, a branch circuit individual is a two-conductor circuit that supplies a single appliance. Branch circuit, individual is installed in permanent locations such as an electric range, a clothes dryer, or an air conditioner. A branch circuit, individual, is an electric circuit designed specifically for powering a single, higher-rated electric appliance such as an oven, dryer, or HVAC system. Lastly, branch circuit, multi-wire. This is a branch circuit that consists of two or more ungrounded conductors that have a voltage between them and a grounded conductor that has an equal voltage between it and each ungrounded conductor of the circuit, and that is. Therefore, branch circuit, multi-wire, is a three or more conductor circuit that supplies energy through two or more ungrounded conductors and a grounded conductor. The potential differences between each ungrounded conductor and the grounded conductor are equal. Multi-wire branch circuit has a big advantage compared with the first three branch circuits, the cost is more effective because multi-wire branch circuits have only a few conductors required, and the raceways will be smaller. However, extreme care must be taken to ensure safety is not compromised. The table listed the equipment for specific purposes, most of it is in Chapter 4, and one from Chapter 3. These code references shown in the table modify the rules of branch circuits. For example, branch circuit short circuits and ground fault protection for motor. Overcurrent protective device shall be a size no greater than 250% of the full load current. While for non-motor such as lighting and small appliances overcurrent protective device shall not exceed 100% of the non-continuous load plus 125% of the continuous load. What is the branch circuit rating of the two circuits shown? To determine the branch circuit rating, as per section 2.10.2, .2, branch circuits recognized by this article shall be rated in accordance with the maximum permitted ampere rating or setting of the overcurrent device. The rating for other than individual branch circuits shall be 15, 20, 30, 40, and 50 amperes. Where conductors of higher ampacity are used for any reason, the ampere rating or setting of the specified overcurrent device shall determine the circuit rating. Therefore, the rating of any branch circuit will be the maximum permitted ampere rating or setting of the overcurrent device protecting this branch circuit, not by the ampacity of the circuit conductors.
The branch circuit rating of the two circuits is 20 amperes and 30 amperes. What are the wiring fundamentals of branch circuits? In section 2.10.2.2A1, branch circuit conductors shall have an ampacity not less than the maximum load to be served. In section 2.10.2.2A1A, the minimum branch circuit conductor size shall have an allowable ampacity not less than a non-continuous load plus 125% of the continuous load. In section 2.10.2.3A, the rating of the overcurrent device cannot exceed 100% of the non-continuous load plus 125% of the continuous load. And in section 2.40.1.4, the conductor ampacity with its overcurrent device must be matched. Let's do some exercises. The 16 amperes continuous load is connected to a circuit rated at 20 amperes. The conductor provided is rated at 20 amperes, as shown in circuit number 1. Is this circuit comply with the code? Yes. The branch circuit rating is 20 amperes, and the conductor provided has complied with sections 2.10.2.3a and 2.10.2.2a1. The load of the conductor of the 20 amperes rating did not exceed 80% of its ampacity, and the overcurrent protective device matched the conductor's ampacity. How about circuit 2? The 12 amperes continuous load is connected to a branch circuit rated at 20 amperes with a conductor of 15 amperes rated. Is this circuit comply with the code? No. The overcurrent protective device of 20 ampere and the conductor provided did not comply with section 2.40.1.4. The overcurrent protective device did not match the conductor's ampacity. The conductors will be overloaded long before the overcurrent device works. How about circuit number 3? The 20 amperes continuous load is connected to a branch circuit rated at 20 amperes with a conductor of 20 amperes rated. Is this circuit comply with the code? No. The overcurrent protective device of 20 ampere and the conductor provided did not comply with sections 2.10.2.3a and 2.10.2.2a1. The conductor of the 20 ampere rating exceeds 80% of its ampacity, and the load of 20 amperes exceeds 80% maximum of the branch circuit rating. Next is circuit 4. A 16 amperes continuous load is connected to a circuit rated at 20 amperes. The conductor provided is rated at 30 amperes, as shown. Is this circuit comply with the code? Yes, it is permitted. The overcurrent protective device of 20 amperes and the conductor provided has complied with sections 2.10.2.3 A and 2.10.2.2 A 1. The conductor of the 30 ampere rating did not exceed 80% of its ampacity, and the rating of the circuit is 20 amperes, not 30 amperes. However, this circuit must only be loaded by 16 amperes maximum. To summarize our topic, branch circuits consist of the final overcurrent protective device, conductors, and the load. Branch circuits are categorized into four, these are 1. Branch circuit, appliance. 2. Branch circuit, general purpose. 3. Branch circuit, individual. 4. Branch circuit, multiwire. The rating of any branch circuit will be the maximum permitted ampere rating or setting of the overcurrent device protecting the branch circuit. It is mandatory that the conductor ampacity with its overcurrent device is matched. Thank you all for watching. Do you have any topics you want to discuss? Please, type in the comment box, and if you like this video, please subscribe, like, or share. See you in the following video.